Uh, homecoming. I'm sure uh, everybody who came back to this game enjoyed it, and uh, a lot of really good things happened. First of all, just getting the victory was great. I thought that uh, defense really did a nice job most of the day. Defense scored again for us. It's two scores in two weeks, which is nice. Ran the ball well again. Sometimes you run the ball and you get only two or three yards, you used to get disappointed. But you know, it's kind of part of the deal when you run the ball. Sometimes you don't get but one or two or three, and then over time you, you finally break one. And uh, we have run the ball extremely well in the third and fourth quarters. Um, hopefully we'll continue to be able to do that. I thought that. Uh, Overall, Hudson played well. I don't, I don't like that pick much. I know he didn't either. But um, other than that, I thought he played a very good game. Uh, Bryce getting in there was good to just get a taste of it. He overthrew a couple balls that he normally hits in practice, but it's a little different sensation when you're actually doing it between the hedges in front of 95,000 people. So uh, it's good for him to get a little bit of that under his belt. Disappointed in the uh, block extra point. Uh, and that wasn't the only time we had penetration. We had penetration a good bit. And I kind of had a little bit of that throughout the year. And uh, I think people just, you know, they look at that film and they're like, hey, there's a, there's a crease there. We might can get through there. And they, they did. They got through there more than once and just uh, they only blocked one of them. That was disappointing. We've got to look and see if the trajectory of the kick was a little low, but I think it was just a matter of. Protection breaking down. Uh, didn't like the way we punted much, um, especially when you when you watch them punt in practice. Uh, both both of them really. When we were oohing and on in practice, four seven five hang time, five zero hang times. I mean, just bombing it, just hitting beautiful kicks, and, and then we go out in the game and and do that. It just was not uh, what we're looking for. So we got to get better there. Bowen getting the big pick was nice. Uh, it was nice for him to, uh, as he's trying to honor his teammate Rico Johnson after having the medical VQ. Um, it, it really put a big smile on Rico's face. I saw him after the play and after the game. It was, uh, I think it was good medicine for him. But uh, I think we're getting better, but uh, still got a ways to go, which I think, which I guess is a good thing. Coach, uh, well, was the plan uh, going in to be kind of the Todd Gurley show, or did it, it, it sort of evolve that way? Well, I think just good things happen when you give it to Todd. So I think we should probably keep giving it to him. That's kind of where we're at now. What do you think of his pass, Mark? You know, that wild dog, whatever. Yeah, this that pass was so much better than any pass in practice, in my opinion. In practice, I was like, ah, I don't know if we should call that thing, and then we called it. Uh, I was kind of cringing a little bit, but uh, he threw it well. And uh, Blazers did a good job of bringing it in and hanging on to it. Um, you know, you get that wild dog, you could almost sell out to run every snap because we run it almost every single snap. That's the first pass we've thrown. It. So uh, we definitely got the defense to the side of the play to bite up on it, but the backside safety was getting closer than I wanted to, wanted it to, but we, we got it in, so it was good. Mark, uh, you know, say good things happen between you and Todd. You actually threw the ball and ran into the first half. Was there an attempt to maybe let some sort of build some confidence no, I mean that. I mean we. I mean obviously we want all our guys to build confidence, but we just we're calling the game to the best of our ability, according to what we see. It's been a lot of times early in the year where we had some pass plays called, but uh, or at least um, check with me type plays, uh, um, where the goal was to throw a pass, but the way they lined up, it was just better to run the ball. So we ran the ball. We're, we're trying to run it when the numbers are right to run it and throw it when uh, the numbers are right to throw it. But, there's, but there is a definitely a concerted effort to uh, not 
throw the ball every time it looks like they're rolling a safety down in the box. We're just going to flat out, we're going to run it anyway. And because uh, we just, uh, we're blocking well, and, and uh, Todd and Chubb, and of course, Sonny, before he got hurt, all those guys have been, been playing good. Mark, how nice was it to see Alvin back out there and also with Justin still You know what? I was surprised Justin didn't play. If you'd asked me 24 hours ago, I'd have said Justin would play and Malcolm wouldn't play. Really, in the middle of pregame warm-up, where Malcolm was like, "Okay, I'm going," because I think he was having he's a little apprehensive for a minute. And um, but uh, you know, uh, you, you just got to just got to keep practicing hard and uh, keep smoothing your game out, and that's what both those guys are trying to do right now. Can you talk about the game, uh, Jeb? Yeah, Jeb. I, I know he had three catches anyway. I saw that statistically. Mm -hmm. Jeb is um. Jeff's blocking good. He's, he knows his assignments. He catches the ball well. He runs good routes. Very smart, conscientious football player. For a freshman, he's, he's doing excellent. And um, he's going to keep getting a lot of playing time for him. You had, uh, you had Charlie and Mikey and two high school and you had a good goal. Uh, Charlie He's pretty good. Um, have you ever, I mean, is there any of those that you've heard about? Well, uh, Charlie was a very productive guy, and he was very, uh, he was just such a smooth athlete. I mean, his style was attractive, I guess you could say. Um, it was more than just numbers, you know. Um, you know, Winky was winning and, and numbers and competitive spirit, you know. Uh, Todd uh, is obviously putting up great numbers, but he's just, uh, when you watch the guy play, you're saying that guy is just a little bit different than the rest of the guys. And uh, that, that's what makes him, I think, a really strong candidate. And uh, it makes him a really good player. He's doing throwing and returning kicks and catching balls and, and obviously running the, running the rock. Coach, go back to the, uh, the girly pass there. How do you balance the risk reward of having Maybe showing your hand a little bit in a game like this versus getting a game scenario practice on a play yeah. call like that. Well, we don't look at it like a game like this. You know, what I mean, we we just try to win. And every week we'll have a game plan and we'll watch film. And if we think a certain play has a chance to be successful, we'll call it that week. Really, um, uh, because that that very same play may not be good the rest of the year, depending on who we play. I mean, we haven't looked. We don't go looking down the road and say, hey, will this play work this week or the next week or the next week? Now, there's there's sometimes if you don't use a play like that and then you watch the film and you're saying, you know, this it has a chance against this team as well. We'll do that. But um, we're just trying to we're just trying to win. I mean, I didn't feel real good to, after that pick, pick six. I mean, I was still kind of, you know. Then you get when you get an extra point blocked like that. You, when the game goes 27 or 20 or you know uh, when it's that number, just like we're down 20 that Auburn last year in the fourth or whatever, and bang, 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 we get three scores and now we got a one point lead. You know that, that could have happened this game. You don't want to think it could, but it could have. So we're just trying to win. Is that why you didn't go for it on the fourth? Minute? Yeah, I mean, we're backed up, and uh, were we just up 20 at the time, I think? I mean, that could have been. Now, I wanted really badly to go for it, um, but if we didn't make it right there and they scored, and now it's a two, you know, 13 point game, everybody starts getting, uh, everybody's stomach is uh, starts churning and changes the whole dynamic of the day, so I just didn't feel like we should do that. To follow up on your description of the early pass is better than you had seen in practice. Yeah. From vantage point of the press box, I saw some wobble in it. So it makes me ask what. Well, we, what we have a saying in Georgia. We, we say the spirals are optional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you hit your target, that's all we care about. Spirals are optional. So it doesn't, if it's completed, it's a pretty pass to me. So when you say better than what you'd seen, you meant by accuracy? Uh, yeah, it just. 
even the uh, how I don't know. It just it just didn't look didn't look that sporty, you know. I was like, oh, my, oh, my, oh my, man, I can't wait to call that play. I was like, <laughs> like I don't know about this one, but and it was you know we practiced it a little bit more in the red zone. So now we're practicing out there was a lot of grass, so you know red zone. You can't you know, that backside safety is not going to make a play in the red zone because it's just a short field. It's going to happen faster. But this one was launched a little further down the field, and we could practice it. And uh, I just, I just didn't know. Just going to ask you, you guys are going to be away from this place for a month now. Yeah. You just talk about the, the, the it's been a long time. Yeah, it'll be a long time before we get back. Obviously, we had three in a row here, which, which was great. But uh, what happened, Missouri, and then they had Little Rock, open date, Florida, and then, and then. Okay, at Kentucky. At Kentucky, right. So that's five, really five weeks, four games, five yeah, weeks. Yeah. Got an open date. So it's going to be a long time for you. I think it's the 15th of November before we get back here. So it'll be a while. And then you go three in a row again. So Obviously, you guys come back in between the residents. It feel right. like sort of a foray out into your season here. I mean, you're not going to be on your own. It's, it's going to be different. You know, I like ball. I mean, I like being at home because we've got our fans and we've got our dog walk. And when the game's over, you tend to have a little bit of time at the house, which is nice, you know, and just you can be a normal guy for a minute. I like all those things. Um, you know, recruiting is awesome because we, we got to recruit, but it's just one more thing to think about besides the game. On the away games, you, you, you focus strictly on football. You don't have to do much of anything else, which is kind of nice, too. But it's the travel and all that kind of thing. And these, really these next two travel games, depending on when the, when the start time is, be tough, you know. I'm not as concerned about after Arkansas because we have an open date, but between the Missouri and Arkansas, just as far as travel is concerned, it, it could be tough on our guys. You're about 